Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Holly Scoops. Just saying. I had to add in the extra welcomes <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm Heather Gardner. I'm Stephanie Gray. And today we are talking about actually a very serious and pressing issue. Apparently, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. I didn't either. But statutory rape on television, which let me just break that down for you. That is when um, an, uh, an adult, someone over the age of 18, has a relationship, a sexual relationship with someone under 18. Specifically, we're talking about teachers. And, and the, their students. Yes, and the reason we're bringing this up is not, we're not getting all political, just saying it's still about celebrities. The reason we're talking about it is because on a lot of teen-centered television shows that are currently airing mm -hmm. right now, mm -hmm. there seems to be a ton of statutory rape when it comes to students and te um, teachers. Right. The word rape it sounds so alarming to me. I'm like, it's really just sex, but I don't know. But it, that's literally what it's called because statutory right. rape is a crime. And it literally is when someone over the age of 18 has sex with someone under the age of 18. Right. So if it's a teacher and a student, it's stat it is statutory rape. Right. So as the resident Pretty Little Liars <laughs> yes. expert, <laughs> yes. let me just say that one of the most popular ships, a.k.a. Ezria, which is Ria. Ezra, the teacher, Mr. And Fitz, Mr. Fitz, and Aria, his student, they are in a relationship while he is her teacher. And it has been the storyline from the very first episode of this show for seven yeah. years. Yeah, but th this is the weird thing about their yeah. relationship is they first met before the school year had started. And and they kind of fell for each other and started dating. And then the school year started and they were like, oh, uh oh, so it's weird. It happened out of order. Yeah, so the other big show that's happening right now, Riverdale, it's mm -hmm. the number one show among teens. CW. Yes. Um, so that one also has a student teacher relationship with a female teacher and then a young boy. Right. Um, and I just started watching that show. I'm binge watching it right now on, on Netflix season one. Um, yeah, again, it's like super steamy and sexy. And I think that's the problem that this article we read on Teen Vogue is bringing up. It's like there's never really any consequences when this happens because again, right. this is a crime, but these shows make it seem so sexy and so alluring and like, oh my gosh, the teacher's so hot. And it we always need, works out. It always works out. And no out. one goes to jail. Yeah, and this is nothing new in television either. Um, so Pretty Little Liars and Riverdale currently on the air. Um, Dawson's Creek, One Tree Hill, Gossip Girl. Gossip Girl! I know, I Gossip loved Gossip Girl. Girl. Who was loved it in Gossip it. Girl again? I think it was uh, Dan. Dan and one of his and one of teachers. his teachers. Yeah. Oh my god! I know. I okay. know. I had to rack my brain on that one. It's been a few years. Yeah. But again, this is a current theme, and it's a problem that I saw with it. I hadn't noticed it until I read the article. But these are teen aimed shows, and it's again no consequences. It makes it seem so sexy to just have a relationship with your teacher, but it's also a real problem in the United States. Right. But when you say you mentioned that earlier, the teen based show thing, but I don't get. Like, of course, what else would it be? Elementary school? Like, doesn't it have no, to no, be No, 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 I'm talking about, no, I'm talking about the TV shows aimed at a, a teenage audience. A teenage audience. Yes. Right, because what the alternative would be like if they were in college and having sex with their teacher. No, the alternative would right? be, no, or, I, I think the alternative would be me as an adult watching Scandal. That's an adult oh, show. I see what You know saying. what I mean? These are okay. teen shows. Right. Tween shows. Right, well, my logical uh, thought to this would be, well, that's silly. Watching a TV show doesn't mean you're gonna do everything you see in it. Kids you are know? so like, impressionable though. But then, and then there's like literally an actual psychologist mm -hmm. who said that yeah. you have a good quote about the it. The expert, he has a PhD as an expert in sexual relationships. His name mm -hmm. is Logan Levkoff, and he says the more we perpetuate the fantasy of a young student and the teacher, perpetuating it on television, it's attractive, it's kind, it's thoughtful, the harder it is for a young person to really identify when they're crossing the line. So that's, what, oh, so I get what he's saying. So yeah. if you see it on TV, it starts seeming like a normal, regular thing, and then in real life, you'll be more comfortable doing it because you're used to seeing and it. And like television. I said, this is a problem that actually happens. We have a stat from Texas from the year 2015 to 2016 where, this is mind boggling to me, 222 investigations of inappropriate relationships with a student and a teacher. And there are even new laws in Texas now to try to bring that number down. Who knew, man? I know. Texas. Well, you know what? They I was, getting risky. I was doing 
some research too, you know, for this segment. Yes. And I just typed in <laughs> statutory rape. Sure. You know, because what else sure. am I gonna type in into Google? And like literally today, there were the three main articles were things on Fox News, CNN, you know, of today happened. of it happening literally hours. Can ago. I just say, do you did you have these rules in your high school where you're not not allowed, allowed to date a teacher? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to wear like spaghetti straps. Yeah. Your skirt has to be longer than your, you know, hands mm -hmm. on yep, your legs and all this stuff. So now I'm starting to think, were those rules in place so that other boys in your class wouldn't get distracted? Or your so your teachers wouldn't get like inappropriately attracted to you? Because these days, you guys, and you guys know with the freaking Instagrammers and YouTubers mm -hmm. and all the beauty mm -hmm. and makeup, kids look older now. They dress like mature adults and they have a face of makeup like mature adults. And I get why an older person right. would be attracted I to mean, someone in high school. Most of my teachers were pretty old and crotchety, but we <laughs> did have have a few of the, you know, everybody knew who the hot teachers were for sure. Right, and right. they're usually people just out of college. And when you're in high school, it's just a few years separate. True. But it's still illegal. And it's still being perpetuated on TV, which is the main problem I yes. see with it here. Moral of the story, kids, don't have sex with your teachers. <laughs> in the comments below, tell me, have you had a crush on them though? Well, yes, that that's, <laughs> I thought you were taking that in a whole different direction <laughs> no. here. But do you think, I think the real problem is separating fantasy from reality. Do you think that's the issue here? Let us know in the comments section below guys subscribe to our channel subscribe. also and we'll get back to some like super fun selena news tomorrow <laughs> i'm sure it's got one in five days it has to happen so we'll see you back here tomorrow guys thanks bye bye